I, I am every day astonished at uh, uh, the love that I get from uh, many fans. Uh, it's incredible. I uh, am very grateful that uh, fans support me and support Caught in the Act and have done for the last 20 years. Uh, we were there maybe uh, an hour, two hours, something like that. And uh, uh, there was a long queue and it just kept coming and coming. It was, uh, it was really nice to see uh, that there were so many people that came to see me. Um, some of them are fans that I've seen uh, the last couple of years yes. uh, at different shows. Uh, there were also fans that had never met me before. Uh, that They came with their family and said, this is my dream, I always wanted to uh, meet you. Uh, I never had a chance to see you in a concert. This is my first time. And then they brought their posters and T-shirts for me to sign. It was really sweet. Um, that was, uh, I have performed on my own, uh, yeah, the first time was uh, in Bonn okay. uh, in uh, 2015. Okay. Uh, that was the first ever one and I was very nervous uh, and my throat, my, my mouth was completely dry and I, I had to drink so much water because my mouth was dry and I was worried that that would affect my singing. So. I drank water, drank water, but then I, I needed to go to the toilet. So, <laughs> so I think Nikki had to take me to, the <laughs> take me to the toilet and then back and then to the toilet and back. So I learned a big lesson. Don't drink so much water <laughs> before a show. Yes. Um, well, James Bond anyway, I mean, uh, for me, even though GoldenEye is uh, uh, Roger Moore, um, Sean Connery is my favourite James Bond. Uh, I, uh, when I grew up, he was the James Bond yes. uh, when I was um, uh, a, a child up until maybe the teens. Then Roger Moore, he took over and he was good. Uh, Golden Eye, because I love uh, the song from Tina Turner. Yeah. Uh, so that was why we decided to do uh, the Golden Eye and we created, opened the show with uh, me singing uh, a small part from yeah. the song Golden Eye, which was really fun. Um, I don't know, it was, uh, I just decided at that moment, maybe that would be a nice thing to do uh, for that room. Uh, I didn't know if it would work or not, but it went better than I, I could have hoped for. The fans joined in and helped me sing, or well, some of them <laughs> didn't want to, but everyone found it fun. And when it finished, the reaction from the crowd was incredible. And then I thought, well, that was a good thing to do. They, they liked this. Yeah, it, it, I didn't know that the reaction would be so positive, but it was great to hear. Um, I think uh, what I do notice is with uh, Facebook on my page that fans can send me private messages. And um, I did say in an interview uh, that I try to uh, respond to as many messages as possible, and I do that. But then I think some fans um, then kind of misunderstood and thought that I was going to be constantly having chats with fans. And so I had to say to some fans, there are so many uh, fans sending me messages, it is not possible for me to reply to every message from you. Uh, and I think then they understand. Okay, I, I, I understand. So I, I don't write every day to you or some fans write to me and then two or three days later, have I done something wrong or why are you not replying? So I said, uh, you know, I, if, if I reply to every message, I have no time to make more music. Um, yes, there is. Uh, we have made no concrete plans. Um, I have worked with Paul on uh, some new songs. We have recorded uh, uh, three songs at the moment and we have plans this weekend, actually, to record uh, a fourth song. Uh, so definitely there will be an album at some point. Uh, I can't say when. Uh, at the moment, all my focus is, is on the new single, uh, Fire, which uh, I'm putting all my uh, focus on that at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's imminent. Uh, I, uh, I have told everyone that it will be the first week of May. Um, Paul is 
working very hard uh, uh, to finish uh, the version that he likes. Yes. Paul is a perfectionist, okay. which is what I'm grateful for. He, um, he has uh, uh, people backing singers to uh, mix with the song and he won't release it until he's 150% happy. I understand this because I know that feeling when you're an artist, a creative person, you want it to be the best it can be. And so sometimes it takes a little bit longer <laughs> than we planned. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, the, connected to the song, uh, the fire uh, that is uh, related to the song is about uh, standing up for yourself, being strong in yourself uh, against a bully, whether it's in a relationship or it's at school or it's in work, but it's having somebody who is uh, 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 not treating you right, it's having the fire to fight fire. So if they're coming at you as a bully, that you can somehow be strong and stand up to that. Uh, it was, emotions. yeah. Uh, it's the first song I would say that I've sung, all my songs I sing from the heart. Uh, I, I can't sing any other way. It's, I connect with the song and I sing from my heart and every song is different. Some songs are happy, positive, other songs uh, uh, talk about love or they talk about uh, my memories of the band. This song um, touched me in a different way um, because of the, of the emotion of of standing up for yourself and up against a bully. It reminded me of past experiences in my life and that gave me this, the, uh, this energy to sing it in uh, a way that surprised me. Uh, it, it just came effortlessly, the, uh, the, the feeling with the song and the words. And Paul, he knows me very well. And we worked together very well and he wrote that with me in mind and when I, I got to sing it, it, yeah, it, it was with a lot of energy and a lot of passion and a lot of power. The next Lee experience is uh, in uh, August, August the 19th okay. uh, in Hamburg um, uh, at the Berg Theatre, is it? The Berg? Yes. Yes, Theatre de Berg. Um, it's where um, Rainbow, uh, the clip for Rainbow was filmed. Uh, uh, it's uh, a f beautiful, beautiful theatre. Uh, when I started, before I did my first ever gig in Bonn, uh, Paul let me uh, practice in, in this theatre. Mm -hmm. So it has a special memory for me. Uh, it was my chance to sing on stage after many years of not doing it. And so I'm really excited to be there on the 19th to uh, to have that perform uh, performance. And also that's the Lee experience where some people will get to come with me and with Paul um, uh, to travel around different locations in Hamburg uh, where I filmed uh, clips uh, from my songs. Mm -hmm. So there will be uh, a location from It Is What It Is, uh, from uh, For What It's Worth. Only You. Only You, yes. We'll be going to the park where I filmed that. Um, also, this side of Eden, we'll have a, a scene where we will be uh, showing where I filmed a very important scene uh, on some steps coming down. So I think it will be a really new, unique experience that uh, I'm very excited about.